Yo, what's up guys? Today we'll be doing a showcase. Today we'll be showcasing Goddess or Beerus from Dragon Ball Super. So Beerus is a dark enchant with a blessing as a ground unit with 100k place down with 25k damage, 10 attack speed, and 90 range with five, four categories. Godlike powers, godly, protector of the universe, and master class with a leader skill in the units in the godly category plus 15% attack boost and plus 5% money boost. So this unit has a blessing, so let's go and see what the blessing is. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is nice. That is a really nice blessing. Pretty cool blessing. Alright. Now that we have seen the blessing, let's go and showcase Goddess. Alrighty, let's go and um, see... Um, how good Goddess is. So Goddess is a AoE circle of 100k place down, 28.7k damage, 10 attack speed, and 90 range. Alright, let's see the first animation. So when this unit first came out, okay, that is lame animation. I can't see anything because of this unit's uh, aura. <laughs> is it a circle? Alright. So it just shoots missiles. Alright. It makes a sound effect. A splash effect. That's pretty cool. 10 attack speed is pretty slow. Yeah. Uh, let's see that one more time. So this when it first came out, this used to be meta, and the raid was like super hard. But now that like more new units came out, like this raid isn't too hard anymore, and like they, I think they nerfed this unit like a lot hard, like really hard. It's not as good as it used to be. That's a decent leader skill. I mean, you wouldn't probably even use this leader skill anymore. There's just way better units out there. All right, so the first upgrade is 100k, 200k, 300k. Multi God Laser Beam. All right, let's see what that does. So this is definitely not viable for um raids and story. One hundred percent not viable. I wouldn't even touch it for raid and story. But for infinite mode, I still wouldn't touch it. It's too expensive. You could get better. You could get better units, and it'll do much better. So it's like Hellfire Barrage or something, and then it closes in into each other. That's pretty cool. Right, let's see that upgrade. Let's see that one more time. Honestly, the only thing worth of, for the, about this unit is his blessing. That's pretty much it at this point. It's like its blessing is the only thing that's worth for this unit. All right, 350k, 350k, and God Planet Bomb, 200k. So the circle is much bigger now, so that's a W. It doesn't even gain range an entire time, or attack, loses attack speed, so it's super slow. So the bomb is like the pretty cool animation, the bomb. Pretty cool animation. Let's see that one more time. I'll say this is like A, A, A minus or something for infinite mode. All right, yeah, it's just not that good. Just not that good. All right, let's see. Let's just buff this. Let's get this over with. This unit is not good. Four point two four mil, ten attack speed, and one hundred J range. Yeah, this unit is not good. I wouldn't touch it. Um, it's. I mean, it's a free unit. It's a free unit. It's actually just a free unit. So if you like get carried through the raid and you literally just get a free uh, infinite mode unit, they could carry you through the game really. So this is like a minus. If this was like a um, if this was like a uh, banner unit, I wouldn't say pull, but it's a red unit. So honestly, it's pretty solid. It's a pretty solid unit. I can't argue with it. It's like a minus for um, infinite mode and D plus for like not even not even D plus like D F F tier for uh, raid and story. Not even D minus because you can't even use this unit. 
And the blessing, it's pretty cool. The blessing is pretty cool. I think that's what you'll probably be using this unit as for. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back next time with another showcase on All-Star Tower Defense. Peace out.